All right, that is Lid Motors Indoor Solar Spinner. There it is, folks. And uh, that's running on a solar cell inside the house on a pretty cloudy day. It's not raining anymore, but uh, it's not full bright sunlight. And there's my little solar spinner running around, running around. The camera frame rate showing that going really slow, but it's actually going really fast. And uh, I'm using a much bigger solar cell than uh, that guy over there. And I still have not gotten that circuit figured out. And that circuit there is the winner. And look at the size of that solar cell. And uh, it's running that motor faster than the one I built. So I've still got some work to do to figure out that circuit. But anyway, at least I've got, I've got something working here on solar energy coming inside the house in indirect sunlight. And this is the circuit. And uh, I fiddle around and fiddle around with this thing uh, using all different kinds of different circuits. And my good buddies, Mr. Trial and Mr. Air, and ended up with a diode situation here. It's a complementary uh, NPN and PNP transistor chain with diodes, uh, one in 914 switching diodes, and great big electrolytic capacitor here. And then, of course, the solar cell, which is a 3 volt, uh, 70 milliamp per hour um, solar cell. You can get them on eBay or Electrotronic Gold Mine sells them. And uh, they work real good for this. And uh, like I say, it's just a very simple circuit. This is the coil part of the circuit, the inductor. And I don't have an inductor meter to measure that, but it's 8 ohms is all. It's a uh, a 30 gauge wire wrapped up on a sewing machine bobbin and the rotor is little neo magnets with the north facing out and uh, they're just put on a, a jar lid and that's running on a needle bearing literally a needle and then suspended uh, partially by a, a magnet on the top um, with something to hold it upright so it's basically a spinning top but uh, these diodes are, are part or the heart of it, I think, these little switching diodes. It's almost an AV plug kind of situation. This is the back EMF that comes up here and, and back feeds into that capacitor. And I was using an LED, and uh, it was interesting. When I had the LED hooked up to the negative rail, it came out nice and bright. Then I hooked it up on the positive rail, and it'd be bright, and it'd go dimmer and dimmer and dimmer. And then I figured out what's happening is the energy was actually pumping back into that capacitor. And as the capacitor filled up, the current dropped down. And that's why the LED was going dimmer. So I ch changed it with a switching diode, and it made it go faster. So that, that worked quite well. But anyway, this is Lid Motors uh, Indoor Solar Spinner. And uh, like I say, the thing works quite nicely inside the house and in uh, indirect solar light. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I'm still working on this. I haven't got the circuit exactly right. But at least I have something running on its own on solar energy inside the house. Thanks.